Howling Lobos. Welcome back to another episode of La Mesa Not So Live. This is our third episode of this year and our attempt to make your week just a little bit more normal by providing you with announcements, suggestions, and segments. I'm your host, McKenna, and before we get into the segments, here are a couple of announcements. Hey Lobos, app ASB applications for this 2020-2021 school year are due by this Friday, May 8th. If you have any questions, please email Delgado at jdelgado at heartdistrict.org. We have provided you with a couple of cooking suggestions on this show, and we didn't want to let you down this week. Here's Jake with a great meal and a cool interview. Take a look. Hey there. Today we're going to be learning how to make garlic, shrimp, and pasta. But first, a message from the chef, Lane. When I'm trying to think about the Zoom class, right? I'm trying to think about what items does everybody have? So they're called pantry items, right? They're typically things that most people would have in their house, like pasta and some type of a protein and, um, you know, flour, butter and beans or something. So um, when I think about what the menu is going to be, that's really what I try and focus on are, are things that everybody has and if they don't have it, what are some substitutions? So that's been the challenge for me is trying to figure that part of it out. Now, to make this dish, you're going to need half a cup of white wine, three to four tablespoons of butter, one lemon, basil or parsley, five to six cloves of garlic, one pound of peeled and deveined shrimp, a quarter cup of olive oil, and a pound of pasta of your choice. Let some water boil and pour your oil into a pan. Put the butter in to melt. Put the pasta in the water once it's boiling. Mince up some garlic. Put the garlic in the pan. And pour in your white wine. While this is caramelizing, let's cut to Lane with a quick answer to one of our questions. What inspired you to start cooking with friends? So the reason why I decided to do the Zoom and cooking um, is because with with us being self-isolated, I was feeling really um, frustrated because I couldn't be with my friends. You know, we couldn't talk, we couldn't socialize, and I really missed that interaction of, um, you know, being with other friends being with other families. Thanks, Lane. Now that it's done caramelizing, place in your shrimp. Remember to flip them when they turn light pink. Get your lemon and start to zest it. However much you do depends on your personal preference. Take the lemon and squeeze it over the pan. But now, some more answers about Lane. What is your favorite dish to make? One of the things that I made this week was for my family, and um, it's called Ono Kaswa. It's, um, a, it's a Burmese dish, and that's where my mom is from. And it, um, I like it because it's comfort food for me, right? Um, but it's not something that I can necessarily um, give instruction on because the ingredients are a little obscure there's things like fish sauce and chickpea flour and you know sometimes with things like that it's it's not something you know i wouldn't want anybody to go to the grocery store just to purchase a a few of these items if they're not going to use it so um that's one of the things that i like to make because it reminds me of my family and when we were growing up and it was something that it was, it's kind of like a special dish that my mom would make when we would have friends over at our house when I was growing up. Thanks again, Lane. Now take your basil or parsley or both, chop them up, place them in the pan with your shrimp. Take the pasta and drain it. Place it in the pan with your shrimp. Make sure to leave the shrimp and pasta in the pan on low heat for five minutes once you combine them. And there you go, garlic, shrimp, and pasta. Enjoy. I am really hungry now. I knew I should have eaten before the show. Another announcement. ASB is in the works of hosting a virtual talent show 
please be on the lookout for more information on La Mesa's website. If you are a 7th grader and would like to be a member of next year's yearbook staff, please contact Mr. Jacobson at sjacobson at heartdistrict.org. He can answer any of your questions that you might have or send you an application. We have been in quarantine for almost six weeks and some of you guys are wondering how to stay busy. So I've come up with a few ideas on how to prevent boredom. I am so bored. I need something to do. I'm sure you guys are bored too. So I've come up with a bunch of ideas that you guys can try if you ever get bored. Let's take a look. a few of those. Here's another announcement. If you have any issues with your popcorn order, please reach out to Ms. Delgado that, so she can help you get your product at gdelgado at heartdistrict.org. If you are a seventh grader and would like to be a member of next year's video production class, please contact Mr. Jacobson at sjacobson at heartdistrict.org. He can answer any of your questions you might have or send you an application. Finally, here's this fun segment about a couple girls who decided to have a spelling bee as a way to keep busy during this time. Check it out. Welcome students to the annual spelling bee. Our finalists today are Kyrie and Alex. The first word is cacophony. C-A-C-O-P-H-O-N-Y. Cacophony. E L U C I D A T. Elucidate. M A L A I S E. Malays. V I T R I O L. Vitriol. Scoreboards are tied. There's only one question left. This question will be the tiebreaker, and it's for you, Alex. Can you please spell quintessential? Wait, I'm spelling what? Wait, you don't know how to spell quintessential? It's so easy to spell. Except for you, that is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would guess so. Well, I'm a potato, and it's even easy for me. Here, I'll spell it for you. Q-U-I-N-T-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L. Quintessential. Oh, Alex, the places you'll go. Out the window. Okay. Hello from the elevators. What? Hi, Sophie. You're supposed to say editors, not elevators. Well, I like saying elevators. You're supposed to say editors, and I will show you why you are going to regret saying elevators. Fine. Then I'll say quick hello from the alligators. Fine. Be that way. I choose you, Pokey Cloud. Quick hello from the editors. <laughs> now that that's settled, bye. Well, that's our show. We hope you enjoyed it, and it brought a little sense of normal back into your lives. We here in the video production class care about you, and you hope you are staying safe and staying healthy. We hope to have another episode for you next week. Bye!